Change is the only constant for a volcano, just not usually on a time scale we can see. Not the case for Mount St. Helens, which erupted 40 years ago, flattening the forest around it. So in 12 hours time, it is unfathomable to think of the types of changes, so dramatic, so sweeping. Charlie Crisofoli has spent a lifetime studying St. Helens with the Forest Service. And what amazes him is the way life flourishes there now. So you had this expansion and this transformation from gray and stark to green and, and full of life. Chris Afoli says that makes it the granddaddy of long-term studies, where once there was forest, then ash, now amazing blooms of wildflowers pop up in spring and summer. And many plants and animals have returned as well, including an exciting discovery in the last year. We had our first observations of mountain lions, pumas, as well as black bears out right in front of the crater, the place where no life has survived. But what is also striking is what stays the same. The massive landslide that led off the eruption sent incredible amounts of material down into Spirit Lake, clogging the outflow. The Army Corps of Engineers drilled a tunnel, which it manages still today to prevent catastrophe. Increased sediment remains an issue too, and this retention structure protects towns downstream from a higher risk of floods. We had a number of events that transpired on a single day within minutes 40 years ago. And as human society, you know, we're still confronting consequences of those events 40 years later. Change is the only constant for a volcano, as cycles of eruption and construction alter the landscape over thousands of years. And there lies the lesson for Chris Afoli. Life goes on. What is the headline when you think of how the mountain has changed? It has to be a lesson of resiliency. One is our expectation is that most life, albeit if there's just a few individuals, will persist. And the second is that if you just leave nature alone, that the systems can come back in really remarkable ways. Michael Crow, King 5 News.